Hi everyone. Today we are going to start McNamara test. McNamara test is basically a non-parametric test. We had already done so many non-parametric tests and definitely this test is also very, very important. So McNamara test is a non-parametric test when we have paired nominal data. Uh, here is the this test used on the paired nominal data. Let's say paired means I had already explained you in my previous video where we had applied when the data was parametric uh, and the data was metric, parametric, normally distributed, then we had applied pair T test. So same way here is the data is non-metric right and is uh, not normally distributed. So we are going to have this test McNamara test and in that test paired means uh, pre and post basically if suppose uh, we want to check uh, uh, one of the I mean 60 students in a class and uh, we have taken their test and we have recorded their marks and now after providing them some specific classes some training so after that again we have taken test and now we had recorded marks so we would like to check whether there is the difference in between uh, pre and post their marks i mean they has been improved or not right we want to check so it this is this kind of data is a dependent data and this is known as paired data so in this test mcnamara test is a non parametric test and in this test we had the, uh, this one is the paired uh, nominal data we had collected and uh, it is applicable on dichotomous data either one or two or yes or no this kind of data is it so that is uh, applicable on the dichotomous it's applied to two by two contingency table with matched pair of the subject in the row and columns and we will choose when we are going to apply this test then we will choose which particular um, particular variable would be in the row and which particular we want in the column. It follows chi-square distribution, binomial distribution. In the chi-square distribution, of course, that is for the for the for the for the bigger sample size. But uh, when the sample size is very low, so binomial distribution to find out whether row and column marginal frequencies are same, right? So I have taken here is the data the example. Uh, there is the total response, total total number of the students are 45, right, in my class. And here is the pre and post, right? These are the pre marks, those I have recorded. And uh, post marks means when I have provided them some specific kind of um, uh, extra sessions, then after that, there's the post marks. Here is, uh, you could see here one. One means those have scored more than 50% marks, right? And two means when they do not have, they have less than 50% marks. So these are the number of the students. So post marks, you could see here is the one, 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 right? After after this, this um, when I have provided them some training. So post marks, you could see here. And after that, some students, they have got the, uh, those have less than 50% marks and now they have more than 50% marks. So these, there are two categories. One means uh, less than, more than 50% marks and two means less than 50% marks. So all these 45 uh, students data is here. I hypothesis is, uh, this one is the null hypothesis. There is no significant improvement in the marks of the students, right? Null hypothesis is after providing them some extra classes or some specific um, training, these, there is the no improvement in their marks of these students so now what we have to do we will run we will run nightmare test in our spaces so you could see here let me share my spaces file serial number pre and post right numeric and i have defined here values you could see here values are one means scored more than 50 percent marks and two means scored less than 50 percent marks i had already period here and this is the nominal data because we had given just a number one and two right so this is again a nominal this thing correct and the same thing serial number is again a nominal because we had given respondent all the students just a serial number now what we have to do you could see here in the we would go to analyze there are two ways right i i, I will i will tell you both these ways Number one, how we have to calculate um, NACMIA test through descriptive statistics. Here is you have to go 
click on descriptive statistics and after that you will click on this cross tabs right when you will click on uh, this one is the cross tab pre here is the we want in row and post we want in as column right i had shifted here and uh, okay fine there is no need and after that statistics you could see here statistics yes macnamer test i would click on macnamer test because i want right then i would continue then we will go to cells yes row and columns are required so i will click on this thing and uh, after that format okay fine ascending or descending whatever you want and uh, there is uh, no formatting is required then i will click on okay this is my output sheet this is my output these are my outputs right pre and post 45 cases 100 percent right no missing values in my data and 45 then pre and post you could see here i have defined pre in rows and post in columns and the same result you could see here right so count is scored more than 50 percent marks 23 scored less than 50 percent marks there is no right and there's the 23 and scored less than 50 percent marks right there were the students were nine and in the after in the, the, the post uh, right there's the scored less than 50 percent marks 13 right so total is 23 and 22 there's the total number of the students are 45 so this one is the data and chi square test you could see here significance value is 0 0.004 right we will copy all these tables in my word document now output we can see pre and post you could see here 100 percent no missing value pre and post contributions you could see here right 23 students scored uh, uh, this one is the more than 50 percent marks right scored less than 50 percent marks in the post these kind of students these students no zero right and those students have got uh, scored less than 50 percent marks they were nine and now they scored less than 50 percent marks is 13 they have increased right and uh, this one is the total number of these students are there is the 45 so and after this you could see here uh, significance value 0 0.004 0 0.004 significance value means our interpretation if the significant value is greater than 0 0.05 then fail to reject null hypothesis what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis there is no significant improvement in the marks of the students that means we are failed to reject right we no significant improvement fail to reject we are we, we if the significant value is the greater than 0 0.05 then fail to reject null hypothesis but vice versa we could see here right interpretation is right if significant value is less than right because it is less than in our in our case less than 0 0.05 then we will reject reject null hypothesis so my case in my case this is the interpretation not this one this is the interpretation significant values less than 0 0.05 then reject null hypothesis so null hypothesis said there is no significant improvement in the marks of the students but no in our this data set there is a significant difference in the uh, marks of the students there is the significant improvement in the marks after giving them extra classes or what is specific classes there is the improvement right now the one more way how you have to apply this uh, mcnamara test analyze you have to go to analyze the non parametric test non parametric test there is the legacy dialog box then when you have to go to legacy dialog box you will click on this two related sample right two related sample you could see here there are pair one variable one variable two so here is the pre we have to shift in variable one and post we have to shift to the variable two and here is the wilcoxon we will unmarked uncheck and then after that because we want mcnamer test so we had clicked on this then we have to press okay so then you could see here these are our results and you could see here our results again we have to copy these results in my word document uh after this here is we have to put it here and one more table we have to 
copy here. This one is the test statistics. We have to copy and again we have to put here in my what document. And uh, you could see here again value is same 0 0.004. Right. When we had applied in that way, that was the 0 0.004. Right. And again, this value is the same 0 0.004. That means again. This is the interpretation. If the significant value is less than 0 0.05, then reject null hypothesis. So alternate hypothesis is accepted. That means it shows, it shows in this case, in this, in this case, uh, there is the significant difference in the marks, right? When after that we had providing them some training. And when we have to go to analyze. And there is the non-parametric test related sample. You will click on this thing, right? Automatically. Then we have to run, right? No, okay, fine. There's the pre and uh, post also, right? Custom field assignment or this is the we have to run, right? So you could see here. Then I will copy this thing and I will paste it in my after this. If you are going without going into legacy uh, box, you could see here. This is our this is our analysis. The distribution of different value, right? A little bit uh, we can spread it, right? The distribution of different values across pre and post are equally likely. Related sample McNamara test reject the null hypothesis. Why? Because asymptomatic significance are displayed. The significance level is 0 0.05. Right? So McNamara test, again, it is a hypothesis testing. But we are going to apply this McNamara test in the case of non-parametric test. It is a non when the data is non parametric, right? When data is not not metric, when we had collected data in dich dichotomous data and paired nominal data. So we are going to apply McNamara test. I hope this video you would like it and as well as you have to apply this test in your data set. And definitely we are going some more tests in, in our next video. Thanks for watching.